Snapshot Toyota is one of the most important objects in both Pure Data and Max MSP. It's such an important object that Cycling74, who develops Max, optimized the quality of it for their latest version of Max, which came out just recently. Simply, it converts signal to a number, so we typically use it with an LFO. Let's do an exercise to see how it works. Here we have the VCF Toyota object, which is a low pass filter with resonance control. Let's convert LFO's output to go between 1000Hz to 3000Hz. The issue with signal objects such as always see tilde is that we can't connect the number object directly when we want to see the output value. This is where snapshot tilde comes in. Let's create low bang, toggle, metro, and snapshot tilde. Every 10 milliseconds, the output of 0.2Hz LFO is being converted into an integer that we can connect to the number box. Metro speed is arbitrarily chosen, by the way. Now we can see the output of the LFO as an integer. It's going from negative 1.0 to positive 1.0 and back and forth. We didn't technically have to convert LFO's output into an integer in order to use it to change the filter's cutoff parameter. As we can see here, after scaling LFO's raw output to 1000 to 3000, we can directly connect it to the second inlet of VCF tilde. This works perfectly fine. VCF tilde's second inlet can accept both integer and signal. What we can do with snapshot tilde is to make sure that our calculation is correct. By using this object, we can double check that negative 1.0 to positive 1.0 is scaled correctly to 1000 to 3000. Some inlets do not accept a signal. For example, the resonance parameter, which is the third inlet of VCF tilde, do not accept signal. So, we need to use snapshot tilde to convert LFO's output to an integer before connecting to the third inlet. This is the case with gem objects as well. So snapshot tilde is necessary when creating live visuals. For example, we can use LFOs to control the shape of a cube. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found this quick tutorial informative.